Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to make a how-to video on how to clean the top of a Maytag Bravos MCT, uh, the Maytag commercial technology uh, washer. I found a lot of videos on how to clean a Maytag Bravos XL. Uh, the process is very similar, but there's a little tweak, uh, so I figured I would just make a how-to video on how to clean that. All right, here's my washer. It's the Maytag Bravos MCT. Uh, my room is really small, so I'm gonna have to climb on top. But when you go out back, there's two screws. One with white, this one right here. I had already undone them. I put them in just to make it easier for the video. There's one on each side. As you can see, I dropped this one into the abyss, so I need to find that screw. But you just undo both of those. Okay. Now this case right here protects some wires that go into the interface. So you undo just this one screw. And as you can see that those two little knobs just connect in to those two slots right there and that protects those wires so after you take those out undo those two screws and take that little metal panel out I'm just gonna pull this forward a little bit it's kind of obnoxious as you can see but I'll show you why and that's it so I already cleaned it but this whole top was absolutely disgusting with grime and just build up over the past six years uh, but I used a cotton swab and really got in all those little nooks and crannies and cleaned everything out um, these little hooks right here are what cuts snagging on this and that's what makes it kind of obnoxious to lift up but as you can see you just lift it up and clean it out um, and yeah, it's really easy once you get the top off. And then besides that, you just put it back down. Slide it back into place. Make sure these are flush. Put everything back on, tighten the screws back up, and then you will be good to go with a nice clean machine. All right, so good luck. I hope this helps.